Hey folks, another day, another unboxing. This is the Vivo V11. This is an interesting device because it has an in-display fingerprint reader and a teardrop notch, very similar to the OnePlus 6T. So, cool stuff. So here we go, that's the box. It says Vivo V11. A uh, little barcode action here. Vivo V11, there's some stuff here. The model number is 1804 specifically. And I don't know how much RAM or storage this mod variant has, but I checked out the specs and really haven't been able to find a great detail on this phone anywhere. So you can see here, it's got an in-display fingerprint reader, AI on the camera, and it does have a quad engine fast charging, whatever that means, dual engine, sorry. Anyway, so that's the box. Let's open it up, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. There's nothing in here. And uh, let's see, continue. Ooh, a little Vivo thing here. Uh, and then there's the phone, which I'll get to in a second. And then there's a bunch of stuff in the box, but including some iMAs. So this looks like it has a British style charger, which possibly means this is an Indian phone for India. Uh, interesting. Uh, so this is probably a, cus a custom charger since it has some sort of fast charge capability. And here is the USB cable. Regular USB to type... No, this isn't type C. Wow, I'm surprised. This is micro USB. So regular USB type A to micro USB. And then we've got some sort of earbuds. Uh, 3.5 millimeter, which means this has a headphone jack in here somewhere. That is super cool. Look at these. There we are. So that's what's in the box, right? Uh, let's look at this little sub box here really quickly. Um, there is a bunch of stuff in here. Aha! Nice. That's it for the box. There is a bunch of manuals and nice a t TPU translucent case. Always nice to get a phone with a case because you never know what might happen. And SIM removal tool. Here we go. Here are some specs. Vivo, so 25 megapixel front, rear is 12 with a 5 megapixel assist, 3400 milliamp hour battery. Here's the size. Here's some other specs and here's what's in the box. So let's uh, let's remove this real quick and have a look at what's in here. So SIM removal tool and here we are. There is, oh, maybe interesting because it uh, looks like I don't think this is an Indian phone after all. This might be uh, for Hong Kong, maybe, which would make sense. It looks like Chinese, but, you know, I'm no expert. Um, so that's a manual, and then there is a quick start guide. This tells us everything we need to know right here, appearance. All right, so let's take a look at the phone, shall we? This is where what we came for, the phone itself. So here we are. Let's remove it from its little sleeve. And let's take a look. So we've got uh, the teardrop notch here, 6.4 inch display. Ooh, super shiny. This looks like a glass back. It's got a cool little gold rim around the camera pod with the dual camera system. 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel uh, LED flash. Vivo, no fingerprint reader, which means it's in display indeed. Here it says, Designed by Vivo. So this is some sort of like bluish, blackish color. It's hard to tell because I've got tinted windows in this hotel room, so I can't really tell. Uh, as you can see on the left side here, it's not much, just a SIM tray slot. And then on the bottom, you've got this micro USB, so weird. Headphone jack, primary microphone, mono speaker, on the right hand side here you've got volume rocker and power lock key not ridged top here it has nothing but secondary mic you'd expect that this feels like it has a screen protector pre-applied i'm not going to remove it but it's definitely there and it has a um 3400 milliamp hour battery and this display in the front is a 1080p 6.4 uh, inch display so let's have a look at it Let's start it up and see what we got. Vivo camera and music. Interesting. 
this phone feels pretty light and it's pretty thin. So 3,400 milliamp hours is not too bad for a phone like this. Um, a bit of dust on it here, but it's taking a little while to boot, but we'll get to it. You can see the display really well. There's a small, small chin, but not too much of a chin. Okay, here we go. Look at that. You can see it well here. It's called Fun Touch OS. I know, seriously, who marketed that? <laughs> what a name. What a crazy name. Based on Android. I like that. You can see the notch. And the teardrop is less pronounced than on the OnePlus 6T. Uh, and so I'm going to pick English. And I'm going to pick, uh, well, not sure if it's going to have the US. But you can see what, what markets this for. This is definitely a Hong Kong phone since this is this picked by default here. So now you know. Uh, I thought it was India. But all right, next and uh, some agreements. So I'm going to go back to this screen and this screen and now we have you know clearly a bunch of choices here look at that that's a lot of choices but for me it's mostly going to be English so there we go so this is kind of a mid-range phone or upper mid-range so I'm curious to see what that's going to be like and how it's going to fare uh, and I'll let you know uh, so remember I do these unboxing videos and uh, hands-on videos and sometimes review as a compliment to the podcast mobiletechpodcast.com you should subscribe to this channel like this video if you like it etc etc tell your friends but most importantly subscribe to the podcast mobiletechpodcast.com check us out there we're also on all the major podcasting platforms Google Podcast Pocket Cast Apple Podcast Overcast TuneIn Radio uh, Slacker, Stitcher, everywhere. Cheers, everyone. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos.